Hey there, this is Christine. Thanks so much for tuning into my Mostly Keto Kitchen today. So today I'm going to talk about collagen. Collagen is awesome. It's a super cool protein. It's a really unique protein and it's incredibly important. So collagen makes up about a third of the protein in your body. So that means there's a lot of collagen in your body. And the weird thing about collagen is that it's primarily two different amino acids. Third of it's about of glycine, another third of it is proline. Now that proline comes in two forms. One's called hydroxyproline, but all that means is a little OH group got attached to the proline. So you just have repeats over and over again of glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, and then there's gonna be another little amino acid tucked in there about a third of the time also. So lots of glycine, lots of proline. Now, thankfully, those are two amino acids that are not among the essentials, but they are what we call conditionally essential. And so that means that if your body's not doing great, if you are having some health issues, if your body's struggling to kind of keep up with things, then maybe it's a good idea to take collagen, take extra of those amino acids so that you can build the collagen. So now where is the collagen in your body? It is everywhere, it's so crazy. It's in your teeth and it's in your eyes and it's in your skin, it's in your bones, it's in your muscles, it's in your gut, it's everywhere. So super, super important to make sure that you're getting enough of those amino acids. Now what happens is there's this really unique triple helical structure. And so we often talk about alpha helices when we talk about protein structure. This is not an alpha helix, it's a triple helix. And because of this glycine sitting here, it can form a really tight, kind of like a rope. And so then that rope links to other ropes, they get cross-linked together, and that happens through um, vitamin C, helps with that cross-linking. But once you get lots and lots of those fibers coming together, then you can create some things that are structural. And so there's lots of different types of collagen, and so that's an example there. Now, um, the last little bit that I want to say about this is you only get it from animals, okay? So yes, you can get glycine and you can get proline on a vegan diet, no problem, but can you get them at the levels that you need if your body is not making glycine and proline like it should. So this is an example of where having a vegan diet could be not an ideal diet for somebody because if they're having some structural problems in their body, bones, ligaments, joints, etc., cetera, uh, then maybe it'd be a good idea to have some bone broth. So the reason why we would take the bones from the animal and boil them for 24 hours then that's gonna help leach out some of that collagen. And so I'll show you a picture here. This is what the collagen looks like. And it's super jiggly. And so that's how you know you've made collagen or you've made a good bone broth is if it's jiggly like that. Now that probably looks a little bit like gelatin. And so gelatin is the same thing as collagen. However, some of those long strands have been broken up into smaller things called peptides. I don't think it matters. Your body's gonna be able to break down the collagen, whether it's been pre-hydrolyzed or not, so. Okay, well, I hope that was a useful tip. This is among a variety of different videos that I'm gonna do that look at how getting vitamins and minerals, actually vitamins mainly, um, or some other micronutrients from an animal source is superior to getting it from a vegan source or vegetable source. Sometimes the vegetable source can be okay, but it often asks your body to do a little extra work. And so that's why both diets can be fine, but I do caution people, be careful if you're going the vegan route because there can be some health issues associated with it. All right, thank you so much for tuning in.